Hi everybody, it's the Intuitive Healer and today I'll be doing a reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Let's go ahead and tune you Sagittarius. And today I'll be doing a reading with four different decks and the first one's going to be Ask an Angel, Soul Co Coaching Oracle, The Secret Language of Light, and The Quan Yin Transmission. Now I've went ahead and pre-shuffled here, so I'm going to go ahead and get started here. All right, let's go ahead and cut these cards. All right. So the first card is strength, action, grace, impeccability, emerging, abundance, healing, and miracles. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pull one card from the secret language of light. Divine Masculine. All right, so I'll go ahead and put that there. And then I will also pick an angel card here. These have been coming up with some pretty cool information. And just to let you guys know, um, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel um, so that You'll be notified of all my videos. All right, so we have Illumination, Archangel Jophiel. All right, there we go. All right, so the first card I'm showing here, Sagittarius, in regards to love, is that you've strengthened your power. I feel like moving forward in any situation here would be you allowing yourself to recognize that you've been giving your power away in relationships. And for that reason, there is a significance behind the strength card that says for you to empower yourself, to gain your own strength, okay? This card says, I have deep inner strength and glorious vitality. And so really acknowledging your strengths and not, you know, acknowledging your weaknesses, you know, just so that you're empowering yourself to be at a higher frequency here. And the way to go about doing that is by action. You know, it's applying yourself in spaces. I'm going to say don't lean in too hard, okay? Don't lean in too hard, but just lean into the flow of life. Allow yourself to place action where action needs to be placed in regard to different situations in your life, okay? So if you need to clear out a closet because you need to make space for something, well, go do it. Okay, that's just you applying action and maybe you don't have anything to fill up that space, but maybe over time there was a significant reason why you had to make that space. And so it's just really applying action. I step into my glorious future with determination and power. And so, you know, this to me also signifies that strength part of you is really applying action in regards to yourself in the state of love. You know, because we talk about soulmate energies in these readings. And your soulmate is yourself too. Okay, so recognize that as something as well. So, you know, being at peace with ourselves, being in a state of grace allows more things to come in. More things that can really illuminate our life or maybe allow other things to come into play so that you know, your heart's desire will start to show up. And as you sit in grace, you sit in a very present moment energy. So as I gracefully accept the infinite love of the universe. So yeah, just empowering yourself and knowing that there are things that need to happen in order for you to really sit still in the very present moment with yourself, okay? impeccability i am impeccable in my thought word and deed yeah and so i think that this is you being good on your word maybe there were some things in the past that maybe you agreed to 
that maybe couldn't pan out. Maybe this had something to do with the past relationship. Maybe you were saying, oh, I'm gonna follow through with this, but then you didn't realize that your work schedule could have messed things up. And that person kind of felt like you were unreliable even though you weren't. So be impeccable with your words, verbalize your truth, make it clear. If you're gonna set up a situation with somebody to do something for them, make sure that you can follow through with that because that also you know, reinforces your truth. Emerging, I am emerging into the light with joy and ease. And so again, that's you standing in your power. This is you emerging out of the cocoon. It's almost like you were a caterpillar and you were you know, vacant from your life for a little bit as you grew and now your time is to emerge now and to come out of the cocoon and emerge as a beautiful butterfly. I am emerging into the light with joy and ease. So yeah, again, in flow, moving in abundance. Here we go with the abundance card that comes right in. It says all my needs are met above and beyond my greatest expectations. So yeah, and again, Sagittarius, we are in a season that is going to spell lots of romance. You know, summer, fall, by the end of the year, we're going to be so dead set in love, we're not going to know where to go because we're going to be so filled up with our own love for ourselves. And then that's going to match in a frequency with someone else and that person's going to walk in. Major, major, amazing memories here that are going to take place with this new individual. <clears throat> Phenomenal healing energy flows through every cell of my body. And so this is you in the very present moment being in a state of healing. This is you regarding yourself in certain aspects. And if you look at this woman, you know, I say for males or females, we can take that energy on and know that we need to heal certain parts of ourselves and able to have those possibilities of love to come right in, to enable ourselves to continue progression forward towards the sake of love, right? And that's us loving ourselves. My life is a miracle, so letting miracles show up because that's what's gonna start happening here pretty soon. I mean, you're literally on the precipice of this love right now and you just have no idea what's about to happen. Trust me on this. You're going to be going to Adventure Park and having a time of your life. Okay. So we have the Illumination card here. I'm going to pull a couple more of those uh, Soul Coaching Oracle cards. But first, I think that I really need to speak about Angel Jophio and this Illumination. Um, I feel like, you know, when we... When we get into a place of, uh, I say, this melancholy space where you're like, well, I've learned a lot of things, not sure where I'm headed, but I know I'm going somewhere. I know there's all this positivity, but where is this, right? And so Angel Jophiel really comes in and says, you know, that this is illumination time. It's occurring right now, that there is a light of consciousness spreading in the spaces of the dark and the mystery, mysterious of unknown within you, okay? After the winter, the sun comes and brings light and vigor to the silent sleeping flowers of spring. And so, you know, for me, this is you upgrading yourself until that point. And, you know, as the end of winter comes in, there's going to be this energy of real deep romantic love here. And that's really what I'm seeing, you know, with this illumination card is that there's this really strong energy surrounding. Whew, I lost my card here. There's a strong energy surrounding the light within you. You know, and you know, when we're in darkness, we often lose sight of the bigger picture of our lives. 
You know, we can easily forget everything that comes into phases. And without the darkness of introspection and the unknown, well, change cannot ever occur. And that's, that's what we're talking about here is you going through the phases of experience that are extremely important to your growth and your success in your life right now. You know, the sun's rising for you. You're illuminating all the dark corners of your life with this high intelligence consciousness that you're sitting in right now. You know, and within the light of the sun, all of your colors are illuminated here. And you're bringing color to your own world. And that's the thing about it, is that you have unlimited potential around you because you're in this illumination energy. And for that reason, you know, you have the power to create anything you want for your life. You do. And, you know, you really got to pay attention to awakenings, or realizations, ideas, answers, and inspirations. You know, all the answers that you've been looking for are going to reveal themselves to you now. And you're going to know what to do as you go along. So we do have this Divine Masculine card, and that's why I'm saying... You know, with the Divine Masculine card, we have the Strength card. And so it's it's showing that you're being really powerful in your own light. Let me pull some more of these cards from the Soul Coaching. Yeah, because you're transforming right now at this time. You know, I'm joyfully centered and safe as wonderful changes occur around me. So yeah, there's this significant transformation that's taking place at this time. And for good reason, you know, there is this space of enlightenment that you feel like you're sitting in. And then this card of belief comes in, or believe, says the best is yet to come. Just like I'm saying here, be prepared. This is going to come in and blindside you because it's going to seem so beautiful. Because right now you're in that illumination energy. Okay? I breathe deeply knowing that all is well in my universe. See, and you've already gathered peace around this. I think you know, Sagittarius, your beloved is coming through. Because looky here, we got the breakthrough card. I soar into limitless love, light, and joy. Oh, yeah. Breakthrough about love. Okay. So... <clears throat> I just have to laugh here because, you know, sometimes these soul coaching oracle cards will come up and just like shock you. And so I'm like, I'm not really shocked, but it doesn't surprise me here. I cherish all the cycles in my life because there is a new beginning. There's a new beginning here in love. New beginning in love for yourself. Look at this. You're creating a sanctuary. sanctuary. The sanctuary card comes up. I'm divinely guided, gently and lovingly. See, there's that, that validation that you've got your intuition coming in here. Look at this, truth. I live my truth. That's why you feel this illuminated energy that's come in is because of that. Look at this, communication. I communicate from my heart and love surrounds and protects me. Yep, so beautiful communication between you and this individual coming in. You know, that's what I'm really seeing for you, Sagittarius. All right, so let's go ahead and pull some Kuan Yin transmission cards. And then I'll speak a little to you about this divine masculine energy here. Um, because it's what you're using at this time to help you, you know, to move forward in a different space in your life that's going to be in receiving mode. Okay? Okay. All right, so spaciousness. Give yourself the comfort of having enough time and space to formulate your responses. Inner wisdom and higher consciousness arise in spaciousness. Your responses can generate the energy and outcomes your desires. Well, of course, yeah, because you've already manifested this stuff. You had a little, I'm going to say that you had a little forewarning here intuitively that something magnificent was about to happen and it's walking in. 
it's it's taking precedence at this very time now okay take my hand i am real i'm reaching for you take my hand feel the strength and courage within your heart you are capable of more than you realize believe in yourself again we have another believing card and this is you trusting and believing that your gut feeling is exactly correct because you're right sagittarius you are here we go future proof my shield of preventative grace shall cause obstructing influences to yield and pass you by seek my presence within and my blessings will shape your outer world here we go future proof that to me signifies and validates the fact that there is this sacred union coming in well and for good reason because the divine masculine comes in and that's what's rising up at this time Okay, because the feminine was the very first part of the year. And as we rise up, well, we are lifting them with us. Okay, so the male and the females or even same sex, sex couples are, are they're lifting each other up. Okay, and it doesn't matter if you're male or female. There's progression here. All right, and that's what this shows, this divine masculine card. And, you know, with all of this, and just to kind of validate that for me was the future proof card. And it's you knowing, like you know, like you know, like you know, that there's something beautiful about to take place in your life. So thank you so much, Sagittarius, for watching my video today on soul love, soulmate, twin flame. And, you know, there's great things ahead. And you just have to trust your gut and know that that stuff is leading you in the right direction. All right? So please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit that notification button so you'll be notified when my videos do come up. And if you'd like to contact me or if you would like to get a reading with me, please feel free to contact me by website. My information is down there in that description box below. And I love you so much, Sagittarius. It's time for you to feel the most beautiful love you've ever felt in your life. Have a great one. Namaste.